I'm A's catcher Shaylin Gleers, and you're watching Bay Area Sports Wrap. And then we have a one-year-old, too. It's the first time they've come, so we had to take I, pictures and stuff, you know? Sorry, sorry to make you guys wait. Oh, he's got to come all the time now, right? Yeah, he's good luck. Yeah, <laughs> bring, them, bring them both. They're good luck. Um, you've been pretty confident in what you've been throwing, but to solidify that with a win, how does that capture today? Yeah, it's good. I mean, first win I saw since late 2022, and it feels that way. You know, you specifically asked me about wins. It's, it's not really something that you track, and I really, you know, I don't know my career record. I honestly probably couldn't even give you a ballpark guess, but you certainly are aware when you've gone over two seasons almost without a win, you know, so... Um, I feel like I've thrown the ball well this year. Some outings I haven't been able to finish as strong as I would have liked. Um, but today was was a good one. You know, Daryl making some great defensive plays. Um, you know, this is kind of a young lineup. I knew I throw a lot of strikes. They're probably going to swing a lot. So I saw a lot of early contact. Able to keep pitch count low and um, you know pitch around uh, some errors, including one by myself. But um, you know, for the most part, feel really good about that one. Then you know, our bullpen does what they do, and and um, you know, it's a sweep, first sweep of the year. So it's pretty cool. 58 of 79 strikes. Yeah. Did you feel like you were dotting everything that you were, that you was putting, every time they put a glove, you were hitting it? Yeah, I felt, um, you know, Mac and I, I thought, had a really good plan before the game as far as what we were going to do one through nine. Um, you know, they were definitely, I felt like each hitter had a good fastball lane to attack. So that was, you know, the plan with the fastball, which is kind of always my plan since I historically give up the most damage on my heater. So I'm really specific about where I go. But these guys had good lanes and was executing those lanes. And then, um, you know, had all the off speed working in, in, in the zone as well. So just felt like I was able to keep them off balance, knowing that they were swinging, mixing in some first pitch uh, off speed stuff, and then, you know, using my fastball in good location. So it was just, it was just a good plan, good execution. Um, it kind of all, you know, came together in a good way. What's been the vibe like, like in the clubhouse? It's like everybody's just really having a great yeah. time. Yeah, it's been great. Um, you know, after that win, the, the joke was the, the leagues mess around and let the A's get hot, you know, so that's. Um, we're, we're obviously confident and we feel like we're coming into our own. Uh, we played a lot of good baseball. I mean, that road trip was a gauntlet and, you know, we didn't start it off great in Cleveland, but we finished it really strong, splitting with New York and taking two out of three from Baltimore and then coming home and sweeping a, a beatable team in Pittsburgh. And now, you know, feel like another team we probably match up well with in Miami. So, you know, feel like um, this is a good part of our schedule to try and take care of some wins and, you know, feel like we have the confidence right now to, to go do it. Did they, give you guys a, did they guys give you a little bit of a, of a pause maybe that you guys kind of thought to yourself? We could be a good team after that series in Baltimore. Um, I mean, you know, you understand that was it's it, well now it's May, but that was still April at the time. But you know that that team is a very good team, and, and I think kind of what you when you see a team like Baltimore, and, and I was in the AL East a few years ago as a Blue Jay. That was a team that lost 115 games or whatever, and now two years later, win the AL East and are very good again this year. You know, we have a locker room that feels like we could be the next version of Baltimore, right? Like, as far as um, developing these guys and, and the talent we have in this locker room and, and what could be, um, you know, to, to go in and beat a good young Baltimore team and say, like, we could be the next ones that are um, on the up and up like they were. So I think that's kind of what that series solidified more than anything. How do you feel as a starter when you're pitching in a very close game, knowing the kind of pending you guys have now? Yeah, um, you know, the joke is if you're a starter, go seven and then turn it over to Ersig and, and Miller because that's almost a, a guaranteed win. Um, but, you know, the other guys in the pen have been outstanding as well. So it seems like whoever comes in is getting the job done and stranded runners are throwing up zeros. Um, you know, I feel like as, as rotation, we've mostly done a good job. I mean, we've got to be one of a, a few teams that have ran the same five out from, from the start of the season. So we have a lot of pride in that. Um, and then we're also very confident when we turn it over to our bullpen that they're going to keep us in the game and, and give us a chance to get a win, which like we did today in my first one. So, um, you know, very, to answer your question, very confident as a starter to turn the ball over to them, knowing um, the game's likely going to end up, end up in our favor. Do you want to go one more? Um, I mean, sure. You know, I think, it, it, but kind of what he just touched on, like you turn it over to our guys who are, are fresh and ready to go. Um, with some lefties coming up and, and TJ ready. I, if we scored another one or two, I was going to go back out. But right there in a three-run game with our with our guys ready to go, that's that's the move they made. And definitely understand it. Tyler Nevin's kind of solidified himself in that top of the order. Yeah. What do you thought of since he's joined the team? Kind of yeah. Kind of I mean, the he's been unbelievable for us. Um, you know, really at first just kind of hitting for average, and now I feel like in the last week a couple of home runs and starting to do damage. Um, you know, he's, he's, he can go the other way. You've seen him hit, like, some singles the other way. And then today, a pull side homer. Um, you know, so someone we've been able to plug in there in the top of the order and, and continue to produce for us is a huge deal. So definitely, um, 
you know, we're going to rely on him, I'm sure, and as long as, and we obviously feel that he is talented and will continue to do so, but when you got a guy that's hot like he is right now, you got to run him out there every day and let him keep doing what he's doing. I'm sure we're going to keep relying on him to produce. Hey fans, I'm Kara Suboy with Bay Area Sports Wrap. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.